Yeah, you know, uh, some of my fellow Christ followers like to take scripture out of context. Uh, namely, one verse I'm sure you've heard of. Uh, I'll just read it. Uh, pardon me, I'm not going to be looking at you. It's in Hosea chapter 10. And it is in verse, right, verse 12. So for yourselves, righteousness, reap in mercy. Now, this is the part I'm sure you've heard. Break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord. And that's pretty much, no, until he comes and rains righteousness on you. And listen, folks, just don't trick out that verse because it's referring to Ephraim, referring to Israel and their wickedness. So just read in context here. All right. Uh, if you don't like that, well, anyway, so verse verse 10 verse 11 Ephraim is a trained heifer that loves to thresh grain but I harnessed her fair neck I will make Ephraim pull a plow Judah shall plow Jacob shall break his clods in other words you know uh, break his clods clods of dirt break his clods stumble over the, you know, you stumble over a stone in the field or a hunk of dirt. So for yourselves, righteousness, referring to speaking to Israel, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness on you. Uh, verse 13, you have plowed wickedness, you have reaped iniquity, you have eaten the fruit of lies because you trusted in your own way. And the multitude of your mighty men. Verse 14, therefore tumult shall arise among your people and all your fortresses shall be plundered as shalman plundered Beth. Arbel in the day of battle, a mother dashed to pieces upon her children. Yes, that's what it says. This shall be done to you, O Bethel, because of your great wickedness at dawn. The king of Israel shall be cut off, shall be cut off utterly. So, yeah, it's important to look at verses in context. And uh, you can take a verse like break up your shallow ground and, you know, go on a big tangent on that if you want. But context is so important. But these verses did uh, stick out to me and I uh, just wanted to share that.